Now, when you first start working, I don't, what are new hires are billed at how much? 100 bucks an hour, 150, I don't even know. 90? So 90 bucks an hour, they're billing you out. Right out of college. Right, right out of school, you start, they're billing you at night. I mean, they're paying you seven. All right, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but they're billing you out at 90 bucks an hour. That's a lot of money. That means the client's paying $90 for your time. You better come off as professional. You better come off as important, knowledgeable, self-confident, right? So that, and that comes off in a handshake, and eye contact, the way you carry yourself, right? So you want to give them a calm, confident, professional message. That is your job. Now, I remember when I was about to finally get my job, I was so nervous. Because I remember how all of us get through school, right? We always start out and we go, this semester is going to be different. I'm not going to fall behind. Remember that? About five weeks ago, first day of class. <laughs> and then you go to class and you get your syllabus. And then you go to the bookstore and you buy your accounting book. It's always the biggest, thickest, heaviest, most expensive book. You need a small business loan to pay for it. So you get your book and then you go, I'm going to study. I'm going to study. I'm going to study. And you walk in home. Hey, Raj, toga beer part. Okay. <laughs> and it's the night before the midterm. What do you do? Cram, 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 cram. Leases, bonds, pensions, deferred taxes, contingent liabilities. You walk in, take the exam, walk out the door, whoosh, blow it out your brain. And go, I'll never need that again. <laughs> well, you will for the CPA exam. But the key is that... It's important to realize it's not just this knowledge, but it's who you are. And that's the purpose of this event. So it's not just your resume, I have a 4.0, but it's how you present yourself. And that's, so really take a look at yourself. Work on these things between now and the event. Because nobody cares more about you than you. And if you don't care about you, then you're in trouble. So that means between now and the event, you've got to polish yourself up. You've got to work on how you look, how you act, the impression you give. You know, one person I was talking with, intelligent, outgoing, but came off way too cocky. Guess what? Didn't get a job offer. Even though he was talented and qualified. But you've got to look at yourself. What is the impression? When they walk away, are they impressed with who I am? That is your job, to make sure they feel impressed. I gave you a handout that talks about preparing for Meet the Firms. Make sure you read it over. There's a list of questions, what to ask, what not to ask, what is the event, and so on. Definitely read it over. The other thing, too, as you're talking to them, at the end of the event, I go, huh, can I get a business card? So I grab a business card. Okay? So grab a business card. But then afterwards, I go, thank you, Dave. And I turn the corner and then write notes. Grab your Roger CPA Review pen and start writing notes. <gasps> Dave, he's been in this office for seven years. Before that, he lived in Utah. He's in charge of the audit department. He went to Maui with his family. And he liked my tie. Then I write notes. But you do it not in front of them. It's not like you're taking dictation. So, how long have you been at the firm? Mm-hmm. Why'd you choose this firm? Mm-hmm. Are you sure about that? So, you want to write notes. Then afterwards, you want to send them a thank you. Because what happens, I meet so many students that go to these events. They go, hey, can I get a card? 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 And then I go, how was the event? They go, it's fabulous. Look at all the cards I got. <laughs> I go, who are these people? I have no idea. So you need to be good to yourself and write notes. Then you're going to follow up with a thank you note and say, hey, Dave, it was great meeting you. I enjoyed our conversation. I enjoyed talking to you about Hawaii, and I'm glad you liked my purple tie. That way, maybe he'll remember who I am because he meets 25 people that night, but I want to stand out. Now, a lot of people say, should I send an email? Should I send a handwritten card? It depends how desperate you are. If I'm graduating in six months and I have no job, I'm going to deliver flowers, right? <laughs> because I need to, and I always tell people, dare to be different, but in a positive way. For example, years ago, my, uh, Elton John was coming to a place called the Troubadour in LA, small little place on Santa Monica Boulevard, so we wanted to go see him. And in order to go, you had to submit uh, cards. So, you know, kind of like our little raffle cards, you know, they said send in a postcard. So everyone thinks a postcard, postcard, postcard. We sent in three postcards this big. Cost us like seven bucks to ship. Whew, back was a lot of money. Guess what? We got picked. What does that mean? Dare to be different, but in a positive way. So the same kind of thing. Am I going to send them a handwritten note? If I'm graduating in six months, I'm going to send them a hand. Because an email, you go, <coughs> gone, <coughs> gone, <coughs> delete. But with a handwritten note, he goes, oh, what a nice note. And I'll throw it, well, I'll put it on my desk. And it sits there. And two days later, he goes, uh, here, recruiter, give him a call. Guess what? It might happen. You just need one of these 25 recruiters to do that, and you got a job. So dare to be different, but in a positive way. So again, these are all the little things that I suggest. Now, at this event, how much time do I have? Like three minutes? Two minutes? A minute? Negative five? <laughs> all right. At the event, who's going to be there? Public, private, governmental. What is public, private, governmental? These are all different options in the field of accounting. You've got the big four. How many of you want to work at a big four? That's great. And what do you know about a big four? They're bigger than four of them. 
<laughs> because that's all most of you know. I just want to get a job. So that's public. You've got, uh, you've got uh, big four, you've got national, you've got local firms, you've got private, you've got governmental. When I was sitting in this room, I didn't know the difference. All I knew was I need a job, I need a job. What is public accounting? That is where you're an external independent auditor. You do audits, you do reviews, you do compilations, you do taxes, you do consulting. That's what you're doing. You're an independent outside auditor, external. So you're a big four national local firm, you're dealing with different size clients. But an audit's an audit, obtaining enough information to give an opinion. A review, doing inquiries and analytical procedures, giving reasonable assurance. A compilation, compiling, assembling information. Your job is to obtain, so you're an independent objective auditor. That's called public accounting. Private is where you work internally within the firm. I work at Chevron. A friend of mine works at Fox Studios. Another friend of mine works at CBS Studios. So three weeks ago, four weeks, I got to go to the Emmy uh, party for Entertainment Tonight, ET. So I went to that party, and after the party, guess what I got? I got a swag bag. Almost as good at the meet the, as the Meet the Firms bag. Almost. Okay, I got free hotels, deodorant, clothing, free things. Yeah, that's what I got in this bag. So the point is, my friend who works at Fox, he gets to do what we call participation accounting. His job is to figure out on the back end of the movie how much the actor, writer, producer, director gets. So that's part of accounting. Then you've got government. What's government? IRS, Franchise Tax Board, DCAA. One of my friends works at the IRS. What does he do? He audits your federal tax, your 1040, Schedule A, B, C, D, E. That's what he does. Now, one of the cool things about government, he gets to carry a gun on his ankle. That's kind of cool, right? Imagine I go to a club. Hey, how you doing? Can I buy you a drink? <laughs> you know? That's kind of sexy. When I worked at Deloitte, they never gave me a weapon. You know, I need your general ledger. No. So, but here's what I want you to walk away with. Realize that all of these firms will be at this event. Don't just, uh, I want big four, I want big four. You have to talk to everybody, big four, national, local. You've got to talk to public, private, governmental. Because we all start out in the same room, but we all go in different areas. And it's all still accounting, but there's a whole myriad of options available. So keep that in mind. And then that way, as you go to this event, you have an open mind. So again, Put time into who you are, put effort, you too will be a success in life. Have a great event. Thank you very much. Thank you, Roger and Ali. We'll now take a five minute break and then at my time we'll come back to Sorry about that. <laughs> Especially like how to make a bad first impression. Oops. Yes, exactly. Yeah.